101. Rashad 101. He wants to know what are the top five playbooks okay. for defense so far, especially for those Mutt guys that don't get every playbook. They yeah. kind of got to work a little bit for those playbooks. They give you a couple, but you know it's e- it's harder to change playbooks as easily. You don't yep. quite have all of them this year. So I've got a list that I like. Yeah, you, you want to run through yours first? Yeah, so we'll, I'll run through my top five real quick. I like Dallas, Kansas City, and the Bengals. So the reason I like Dallas, it has the 46. Yep. Bear. Yep. One of the most rare playbooks that has that, plus it's got some dime stuff that we sent out. Yep. You guys might have seen. Uh, Kansas City, the Bengals, pretty solid. And then, of course, I put in the Patriots, because they have both 3 4 and 4 3. Yep. They have 3 3 5 odd, mm-hmm. which is rare, and they have the big dime. Yep. Uh, the Ravens, which also has multiple fronts and has good 3 3 5 stuff. And yep. then you have the Ravens. So I don't know if you want to speak to any of those or if your list is a little bit different. Uh, but those are some of the some of the big ones I think you can have success with early. Yeah, my, my top five, very similar. Um, in no particular order, I think. It's really the ba- based off of the way you want to play if you're a 4-3 base or 3-4 yeah. base. This is the Chiefs playbook. But my top five goes Dallas, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, uh, Cincinnati Bengals, um, and then I go Patriots Raiders. So the reason I say Patriots Raiders is because those are two playbooks that give you three four and four three in those form in those playbooks. So th- so for example, that's very hard to find. Uh, you're not going to find that in, in any other generic or any other team playbook in the entire game. So the Patriots and the Raiders defensive playbooks they they might actually be a little higher up. I think yeah because they give you a lot of versatility because you have those ability to play a little three four play a little four three. At the first week of the game, do you prefer a three four or a four three? Four three. Four three. Show us. The I think three, it's a, a three four, three five. I like, think I, I think long term it's a four three style game. I really like the th- nickel three three five right now. Why? Uh, but I, I think show us term. three three five and just show us kind of why it's a good. Form. You don't have to go into the play, but so the three three five and the three three five wide. This is why we like the Chiefs. Yeah. This is why we like some of those other playbooks we yeah. mentioned. Right. What's so? Why does it stop the run well? It's good personnel. Well, like. well so, so, I mean, one thing to note about why why are we saying we like these playbooks? Um, when it comes to Madden, and when you specifically look at playbooks, you need to get your, a bang for your buck. You need to be able to pick a playbook that gives you uniqueness, and you're not going to find, for example, the nickel three three five. It's only literally in uh, the Chiefs, the Bengals, and the Ravens. It. Mm, it it might be in one more three four base book that I'm, that is escaping me, Niners but you're you're only going to find it in those playbooks. So now that immediately makes those three playbooks super valuable because if you want to run this set, you you this, you have to pick these playbooks. The same goes for the uh, the forty six uh, uh, the forty six bear. It's only in the Cowboys playbook. So if you want to run the bear, that means you have to run the Dallas. But but what makes it valuable is. What you what you get in the Dallas like that complements the playbook. You get all those four three defensive formations because it's a four three base. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be able to get those four three formations in another four three book. They're, like the most defensive playbooks are very same, much like the same. They, there's not a lot of differences between them. The playbooks we're picking out and saying these are our top five. They're the playbooks that are different from the rest of the playbooks in the game. That is why we're putting them up at at the upper echelon and saying these are the books that are the best in the game. Because they are different than every other playbook in the game. You get more variety, yeah. which lets you run a different style of defense. So, and for those of you guys that are picking up Standard Edition on 825, uh, or if you already have it and you haven't you know, logged in yet, in Ultimate Team, your playbooks that they give you at the start, your first playbook on offense and defense, is whatever your favorite team is. So your favorite team that you pick at the beginning oh. menu. Not the, not the two guys that you pick. Like, Pro you, tip. So... You can only really get, you know, so you got to either get the Chiefs offense to go with the Chiefs not defense, bad. Patriots, Cowboys good. offense, Cowboys defense, Patriots offense, Patriots defense. It's not like you can pick. I want the Texans offense, Saints yeah. defense, or whatever. It's you have to get it. So those are some some options. You saw the defensive list over on YouTube. I have my top five offensive list. Uh, Atlanta would be on both. Um, and those that would be a good playbook to start at. Um, Seattle, I could see people going with for both. And then there's also, don't forget, the other unique formation that we're we're not calling out here is the 5-2. Yeah. You're going to find that in a couple of playbooks. I believe the Lions have it. I believe it's in 
Is it still in the Giants? I think but, they lost 5-2. They yeah. still have the NASCAR thing, but they don't have... I don't think they but, have 5-2. Like, that's another unique formation. Yeah. It, it really boils down to... You pick, you pick your playbook because it's like, okay, do I want nickel 3-3-5 three, three, normal? Yeah. Do I want 46 bear? Do I want 46 normal? Do I want bear under? Or do I want 5-2? I mean, that's really what it boils down to. And then there's some small nuances in between some of those formations as you go. Some playbooks have certain plays, some don't. Some formations will have a 3-4 solid versus another 3-4 set. So there's, there's small nuances in between the rest. So those are a couple good playbook tips uh, to try out as you get started in the game this year.